Hi, my name is Michael Egan and today I'm going to talk to you about assessing the level of clover content on, on your farm. We're currently at the beginning of April and this is the ideal opportunity to assess the level of clover content on your farm. This will aid in making two decisions, key decisions in the coming months. One, the level of optimum level of nitrogen fertilizer application to tailor across your farm and individual paddocks. And number two, to assess any paddocks that may need to be reseeded or over sowing to increase the level of clover content on those individual paddocks. At this time of the year, we would be hoping to see an average clover content in individual paddocks of between 15 to 20 percent before we can make an informed decisions on large reductions in chemical fertilizer for the coming months. So again, when we're in the middle of April, we're hoping for 15 to 20 percent average sward clover content at that time point. To assess the level of clover content on farms, it's very similar to completing an average farm cover or walk on your farm. We're walking every individual paddock and we're assessing, like you would at a cover or herbage mass, we're assessing the level of clover content on those individual paddocks that we can then record on pasture base later on. So to aid in this, Chagas have developed a Chagas scorecard that will give a visual representation or an image of a clover content ranging from zero to greater than 50%. And as we're walking through our paddocks, we're continuously facing what we're seeing in the individual paddocks to the Chagas scorecard that has been developed. And this can be found on the Chagas website. So when we are completing a, a clover score, we're looking for two things in individual paddocks. Number one, the level of clover that we're using the, the scorecard to base the level of clover content off. And number two, we're looking at the distribution of clover across that paddock. What we're aiming for is an average clover content across the paddock of 20%, but in every part of the paddock, not just in one corner or individual parts of the paddock. So as we're doing it and we're continuously assessing the clover content as walking through the paddock, every step that we take, we need to see an equal number of equal level of clover content in that paddock as we're walking across. And when we get to the end of individual paddocks, we're walking a diagonal or a double shape, W shape across the paddocks. We're recording the level of clover content in that individual paddock and then moving on to the next one. Then when we completed our farm cover, our farm clover walk, uh, we're coming back in and we're assessing this and putting it back into our pasture base that we can see later on.